They sing a Kalindin song, Kaliet, meaning peace. A song that is an embodiment of their desire. They want nothing short of peace that for them remains elusive in the recent months. This is Bartabwa camp that is now home to hundreds of displaced persons with the ongoing insecurity in Baringo County. Women, children and the elderly have in particular borne the brunt of the deteriorated security situation. For the 30-year-old Milka Kabon, life has not been easy here. <laughs> With five children, this is a place she now calls home. You may misconstrue her outward for happiness, but deep inside she's hurting. Milka miscarried her sixth baby while scampering for safety. For the 65-year-old Muzelo Teng, he could now be enjoying his life at his house in Chesarek village in Baringo County, where it not for the current situation. Wapokoto wakaingia, wakatupamia, wakauwa mwalimu moja na mama moja. Wakati tunabo torokea panda hii, pia hawa tena wali tunyanganya mali. Mbusi, kontoo na chechote hata asali kwa nyumba. Na hata saa hii wanaendelea e, kuchukua wimbi mainti ile tuliwajia kule nyumbani. Learning has also been paralyzed in some parts of Baringo North and South because of insecurity. More than 20 primary and secondary schools have been closed down as insecurity attributed to illegal guns and cattle wrestling intensifies. <laughs> For 15-year-old Oscar Chiptuma wants to be the president of this country one day. All he wants is to be in school like other children in the country. He says his future lies in the balance. <laughs> Children here often fall sick since they are not used to living in the cold. Wengine walipanikiwa kupata hisi mahema. Na wengine, sisi wengine asa mimi na wensangu wengine tunaishi kwa manyumba sawatu. Kama nyumba hii, eh, kuna watu karibu kumi na seta. Kenya Red Cross here have been providing health services for the displaced persons by giving them blankets and foodstuffs, among other basic necessities. All they need, so they say, is everlasting peace, which for now remains just that a mere wish. Women, children and elderly have had to bear the brunt of surviving the cold, especially during the night, and having sleepless night, a thing they were never used to. There's is a call for the government to act fast and restore calm in a place they once called home. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Challenge 1 News in Baringo County.